Hey guys, welcome back to yet another YouTube video. Uh, 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 of course, uh, if you saw what happened, uh, it saw um, the video I did last week. Um, I did the um, did the of course the MotoGP silly se uh, silly season talk video with you guys. Now, now the part part two of that w will come um, probably. Um, during the during this weekend, of course, we've of course, um, the Dutch Grand Prix at Assen this weekend. Um, now, <coughs> excuse me. Now it's time for the now it's time for supercars turn to um to uh, 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 supercars turn to do the talk. Um, uh, talk about it, silly season now. Um, and it, it and it's and it's hotting up. It, it it is starting to hot up. Um, the supercars driver market, as they as they call it. Um, so, um, so we'll do this well team by team. Um, ba basically, um, so the first team, the first cut off the rank, of course, is Red Bull Ampole Racing or um or Triple Eight Racing Engineering. Um, we all know that Shane Van Giesbergen, he's contracted until 2023, it's, uh, it says here, and again, also forgot to mention, got me, still, got me, tr got me trusty old, trusty old Mac uh, with me as well, so, as I, uh, 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 I said so many so many videos, I'm going to say it again, if you see me looking down, um, I'm looking down at my laptop screen, so, yeah, um, so he's contracted until 2023, so he's, he's got another two years left in his contract, we all know we we all know at the start of the year that Wink Cup, uh, Jamie Wink Cup is retiring, um, and um, is going to be um, take over as I think Roland Dane's spot because I think Roland Dane's going to step back, I believe, with the team. So that means that Wink Cup will assume a managing role with the team, um, and he and his. Uh, and, <laughs> In that seat in, in in the in the eighty eight um in the number eighty eight is still unknown, but it's but it's I think I think there's been so many people have been touted with that seat. I think I, I think he, Andre pardon me Andre Heimgarn has been mentioned. I think Nick perkat has been mentioned once. I remember I think Thomas Randall. We'll get to him in a bit. Um. Was mentioned, but I think it, there's no doubt it's going to be Brock Feeney. I think there's no there's no doubt um, he's already at the team um, through the Super Two program, and, uh, and and it's a no brainer for me that um, that I believe that Fe Brock Feeney should be in that team in twenty in, 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 next year in twenty twenty two. Um, and, and I'll I, and I won't be surprised if over the next few months, next couple of months. Um, that announcement will get announced uh, for sure. Um, moving on to Shell V Power Racing. Um, now, uh, now, uh, now, of course, we all know that Anton Di Pasquale and Will Davison um, have, uh, I would assume, will be staying in the team in twenty twenty in twenty twenty two. Um, uh, now. Of course, the the thing is, the thing with what I, I think I said is at the start of the year that if I felt like Anton was more of a more of a long term solution for DJR, while Will's probably a short term solution considering how old he is. I think he's in his late thirties, I believe, as Will. So he's not, so he's not getting any younger. So, um, so uh, so yeah. Um, but, uh, but still, I believe that they'll, they'll still be a team like that in 2022. That, it depends on, of, co of course, um, because you never, because you never know with Scott McLaughlin, um, it, these days, it, 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 um, it, it, because you, it, because you never know, it pro it, like I said, I said with, the, with the McLaughlin thing at the start of the year, it's either going to be him like he, he, like Scott Dixon's done or Will Power's done. And that's spent their whole life over in the US, or even Marcus Ambrose's case in NASCAR. He spent almost a decade over there, um, 
or yeah, or eight or nine years over there and came back to Australia. Or it'll be like when you remember, remember guys when Cray Lowndes did um when he won the ninety when he won the nineteen ninety six championship and went to Europe to do Formula Three thousand. That that was a complete fail, and he came back to and then after one year he came back to Australia and ended up winning a couple of more Supercars titles. So you ne you never know you never know where what where Scotty will go will do will do or what will Team Penske do with Scotty. But uh, because uh, I would assume that there will be a lot, there will be a lot more young, young drivers in Team Penske's ranks in in the future um, over in America and probably all, probably all over the world. So so it's so it's so we need to sit tight with Scotty on that one. But uh, but I still think that Anton, uh, barring uh, barring a few. Um, Probably, barring um, uh, a bit a, a big um, a big a big shake up maybe with DJ I believe Anton and Will will be staying at Tickford, uh, not Tickford, <laughs> DJR next year. I would assume. I don't know why I said. I don't know why Tickford came out of my mouth. Speaking of that, <laughs> take your Tickford. Um, so if you guys didn't. Uh, 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 well, it didn't live under a rock this last seven last seven days. It was announced um, on the Friday of la uh, Friday of the um, Darwin Triple Crown uh, around this weekend, uh, last weekend. Sorry, that Thomas Randall uh, will was confirmed to be at, well. Firstly, Tickford confirmed that they would they will return and they will go back to a four car team. And Thomas Randall will be in that fourth car in 2022. Now, for me, I uh, uh, for me, I, I uh, the one uh, the the thing I uh, when this story broke, when the first thing I said was about time. I mean, this guy should. Uh, I think he should have been in. He sh he should have been. Uh, he been uh, have been in su uh, in, in supercars. Probably, uh, probably last year. I would assume. I would think because, uh, because, uh, and this is, uh, and this is why I think, and and and, f and thank God for supercars for sort of uh, for s sort of sorting out their um their their licensing thing with the super with the super twos because I I think for me, um the ro I think the roadmap to supercars is flawed and a joke. I mean, and what I mean by that is, and this could be a video on its own, um, is uh, is one name, and I'll, I think I'll mention that later. Jack Smith. He um, he finished like eighth or ninth in the championship in Super Two in 2019. It, it, it bear, it bugger all podiums, bugger all victories, it bugger, uh, maybe bugger all top fives, maybe about a couple of top tens. And, and and he earned the a draw and he earned a drive and basically earned his way through the through the front door at at, at BJR. Um, it, it, I, it, I'm saying I'm saying this now. The reason why the Jack Smith's in supercars is because of BJR. If he it, 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 I, I, because BJR as I said, BJR has a Super Two and Supercars team. If they didn't have a Super Two team, then he would not be in in, in supercars in the first place. I mean, how is that fair? To be honest, that Randall, who finished run up in the Super Two Championship that same year, to um, to Bryce Fullwood, who is who is at, who is in, who is at WAU, and also again, I'll speak about that later. Um, he finishes run up in that championship. Jack Smith finishes eighth or ninth, and he goes up to supercars, and he doesn't. And it, it, it may it, you can you can say oh maybe he wasn't ready for uh, he wanted another year in Super Two, but that's the fact. It, 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 that it, that that sends a bad look for supercars. It sends a very bad look. That it, it, you it, it, or it, for some people might say oh I just might as well just all I need to do is finish like eight nine for ten for the championship but I and I'll earn myself a supercars drive. No. We we all we want is the best of the best of the best Super Two drivers in supercars. 
uh, and thank God that Tickford have taken have uh, have put, uh, put Randall in, uh, Thomas Randall in a full time seat in twenty twenty two. I think he full on deserves it to be honest. Um, Rant over. Um, so yeah. Um, so and I would assume that he will uh, he will drive the uh, he'll, uh, he'll drive the, the fifty five car again like he, he's doing now with the current with the um. With the wild card entries that he's doing, um, so so yeah, but the but the other two drivers, um, uh, or oh, sorry, sorry, other three drivers that are currently the, the ticket drivers right now, and Cam Waters, James Corney, and Jack LeBrock, they haven't been signed yet, or so, or so we think, <laughs> yeah, haven't signed uh, signed on. It, it, it says. Uh, I'm looking at a speakcafe.com article which which was released about uh, which was the least released about nearly nearly four hours ago uh, as I'm recording this um yeah, I'm, I'm only gonna read the uh, for, uh, I'm only gonna read the first like sentence it says Tickford, Tickford racing CEO team uh, CEO Tim Edwards says he holds the power to keep Cam Cameron Waters and Jack LeBrock at his team in 20 uh, for 2022. So uh, and, and those are the only two drivers. Now that so uh, that means that I am concerned for Courtney and for James Courtney. Could could he possibly could uh, could there possibly be uh, if uh, if Brock Feeney doesn't Get the, the triple eight drive. Could there the possibility that Feeney, the Brock Feeney, might replace him in that Boost Mobile car? Because because there was another article that was released. I think it was yesterday or the day before, saying that regard uh, that um that uh, uh, saying uh, uh, saying that um Bruce Mobile boss Peter, Peter Addison had backed um Feeney regardless. And say that he will get give him a drive, regardless if he if he gets the triple eight drive or not. So, so yeah. So if I was James Courtney, I would praise the Lord that that Feeney gets the triple eight drive. If he doesn't, then 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 Courtney is screwed. I am I'm I'm seeing that. I I can see that possibly happening. That. That, that there will be two new drivers in that Tickford stable in in, in Feeney and and Thomas Randall. I am certainly sure of that, uh, for uh, for sure. But you never know. You never know. It might it might be different. Um, when it comes to, of course, the full twenty twenty two grid being announced. So, so yeah. Um, so yeah. Now we move on to Walshire and Dreddy and Dreddy United. Now the uh, now um now the news that was also in, during the Darwin Triple Crown before pre Darwin Triple Crown I should say rather was Chaz Mostard extending his contract with uh, WAU uh, to at least twenty twenty three so another two years at uh, at Walkinshaw and Dreddy at at, at and Dreddy United. And of course, he celebrated that by winning the uh, winning the Saturday race at uh, at, the, at the Darwin Triple Crown. So yeah, um, so yeah. Uh, also, apologies for the uh, for the darkness. It's uh, it's almost five o'clock as I'm recording this, so I'm trying to brighten up my laptop screen so it, so you can see my see my face. Um, so uh, so yeah. Um, the, so then the second car, um, currently of course Bryce Forward's taking that, I, f I thought that it, uh, I, f I thought maybe last year did it, did a, a reasonable job in, in, in that, in that second car in his first season, now in his sophomore year, he hasn't really, like, uh, shown us what he can do just yet, um, yeah, yeah, and, and if, and there's a possibility that if he if he does um get the axe from WAU 
there's probably might be a chance that the third Kostecki that hasn't been in supercars yet, and that is Kurt, might maybe replace him. There might be, it, it, I'm, I'm saying, I'll not, I'll not make up rumours here, but there might be a chance that that might happen if uh, Fullwood doesn't, it, it does get the axe from, from WAU, um, for sure. Um, yeah, then, then we move on to Team 18, um, or Charlie Schwarcott Racing, whatever you want to call them. Um, yeah, yeah, um, so... So it's all. So Mark Winterbottom. It's already been confirmed that Winterbottom will uh, uh, will be is, is already on a contract. He'll be your race to the end of the team until the end of next year. I would assume that maybe that will be his final season. Maybe in supercars, um, possibly um, because he's because he's because he's because he's because he's because he's forty one this year. <laughs> Jesus, it's 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 almost like yesterday that he was um a young guy um it, it, it going through the through the old Larkham Motorsport team um about 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 almost two decades ago um the, I think uh, the the the, other, the free agent in that team is Scott Pye. I I have confidence that he will get re-signed. Um, I think he. I, uh, yeah, I just, I just, I just think that I think if he if he performs well, um, not like what he did at the Darwin Triple Crown, but um, but uh, but before the first race of Darwin Triple Crown, when he of course qualified uh, qualified uh, qualified on the front two rows, uh, then there's no doubt that Team 18 will uh, be quick to re-sign him for next year. So uh, so I'm expect I'm expecting Frosty and Scotty Pye to uh, retain their seats at Team 18 for next year. Um the next one is Kelly Grove Racing. Um so current uh, so um so uh, under con uh, so David Reynolds is under contract until next year until uh, until the end of next year. Um the big uh, the the big uh, the big elephant in the room for them is Andre Heimgartner because uh, 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 he uh, he's been touted to be the Wing Cup replacement, um, uh, and also and also others are interested in him. I would, uh, uh, I would assume maybe the top maybe some of the other top teams might be interested in, in Andre. Um, I uh, I. Uh, uh, I sort of think that I think that he will stay um, in um, in that team um, ne next year. I think um, of of I, I, of course he claimed pole at Tail and Bend. His, his first pole and his first win at Tail and Bend. Yeah, yes, the Darwin Triple Crown didn't go do the way he hoped, but also it didn't go the way that Kelly Road Racing hoped as well, mind you, with that. So. So I believe uh, I think I think they'll stick with their two drivers in uh, in Davey and Andre uh, at at Kelly Grove Racing next year. Um, Erebus Motorsport um, currently uh, uh, currently Brody Kostecki and Will Brown are, un are under contract, and um, Erebus CEO Barry Ryan has uh, has declared that that um, both drivers are. In place for next year, for next season. So, barring someone, uh, another team buying um, Brody or Will out of their out of their contracts, then I would assume that they will keep um, Brody and Will next year. Um, I would assume. Um, then, then we have. Now we go to Brad Jones Racing. Um, of course. Uh, Nick Perkat is you now uh, he re-signed. Uh, he's already re-signed uh, for uh, for, uh, for another season, of course, to the end of next year. Um, the the uh, the uns, uh, the free agents, of course, um, Todd Hazelwood and Macaulay Jones. I think I think Hazelwood he's just he, he just hasn't uh, quite hit hit his straps just yet. After of course he's. Uh, well, uh, 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 I think a good, uh, a good, uh, not a not a bad season, not a bad first season, but not a good first season either at BJR. I think he's been found out a little bit in his second year at the team. 
Um, if yeah, and I and I think Macaulay Jones. I believe he'll he'll. I think he'll keep his um. I think he'll keep keep his um. His I think he'll keep his drive, uh, with the team. Um, I think. Keep his, uh, of course, uh, of course, of course, he's the son of, of Brad. Of Brad, so I think he'll stay there. Um, Jack Smith is the uncertainty. We, uh, um, so it's. Uh, I've been reading this here. It says it. It says that Smith's that that Jack Smith's father Pete owns a owns a racing title and contract. So does that mean that if um. So does that mean that he, so does that mean that he uh, that he um. So that means if Jack Smith and that tank and that four car gets uh what's what's you know, what's it called um gets it gets the axe from BJR does that mean um that it's its own team I don't know um. But there might, and the reason why there's some uncertainty is another article that was that just got released, um, got released actually this morning, um, very early, very early this morning was that Coca Cola it, it commit is com, it commits to Chris Pifford's uh, 2022 Supercars drive. So as you guys all know, uh, he lost his drive. Um, he, he, at Team Sydney, um, la Team Sydney last year, and um, and of course, um, driver team, yeah, so uh, uh, to Gary Jacobson, and of course he's going to be co-driver to McCall to Macaulay Jones in the, at, at Bathurst. Um, so I would I would to think that if if Jack Smith is not renewed. Um, at BJR for 2022, for 2022, um, I would to guess that Piffa will be the replacement. I, I would assume, I would think so. I would think that he'll be, I think he'll be the replacement, um, for, uh, for, for, for Smith. And, 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 uh, and for Jack Smith, you, you, we don't know if, he, if his dad, if his father's gonna get it, make his own team and and get Jack to draw, get keep Jack, his drive in supercars. We don't know, but uh, but yeah. Um, then we move on to uh, Matt Stone Racing. Um, now, 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 of course, the two. Um, super light drivers that were by last year, of course, named Goddard and Jake Isteki. They haven't been, um, they haven't been, um, re-signed just yet. Um, there, there was talks that, that Matt Stone Racing would have a third car, but that was, of course, rejected. And, of course, it was in favour of Tickler getting the fourth car. Um, but we still don't know why that, that was the case. But uh, but I, I think for me, um, I, uh, I I think for I think for me, um, I think they should stick with these two drivers. I think they Darwin Triple Crown proved that it that, uh, that I think these two um, can do special things in in supercars in the future, especially Jake uh, Jake Kostecki, um the the younger younger of the two. Um, Kisteki, uh, to Kisteki's right now. Um, well, the third one, which is Kurt, we still don't know if he's still getting to supercars yet. Um, I, f and, and I, I'm confident that they will be re-signed for, for 2022. Now, for Team Sydney, uh, we don't have to worry about them, that those two are still, uh, uh, have both, Signed contracts, Fabian Coulthard and ja and Gary Jacobson that runs through to twenty twenty two. So we we'll have to worry about them. Um, and and same also finally for Blanchard Racing. 
and for the Blanchard Racing Team, of course, Team Slade. There, 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 I think there, I think there was speculation at some stage during this year that they were going to have a, they were going to get a second car, but, but that, but that never materialised, uh, really. Um, so and, and also to remain cool, with Cool Drive colours, uh, again next year. So, um, so. That is, well, basically it. That's basically it. Basically it for this video. Um, as it's getting dark, it's almost ten past five. As I'm recording this, so that's why it's totally pitch black <laughs> right now. So sorry for that, guys. Um, so, um, so yeah. So make sure to like this video. Uh, comment uh, comment down below. Uh, do you, uh, comment down below. Um, your uh, your opinions. Do you think um, do you think Brock Feeney will, will drive for Triple A? Do you think? Uh, and, and also comment also comment down below. How do you think Thomas Randall will go next year uh, at Tickford? Um, share this video if, uh, to anybody that, that is a Supercars fan or or or, or a Tom Randall fan or or. or or, or or Tickford fan, something something, or a Holden fan, or a Ford fan, uh, anybody like that. And also one last thing, somewhere, somewhere down there, um, is a big red button which is subscribe, which is, um, which is called subscribe. Um, uh, also, click on click on the notifications bell when and switch on notifications to get notified about when I get it when I next upload, which. Normally is in about two, two or three weeks late as of late, um, as as I'm um, you know, as we're as we're in the heart the heart of winter here here in Australia. So so yeah, um, so yeah, so until uh, so until next time, guys, I'll see you later.